apparently Jake and Ben like got into a screaming match on TYT last night. So let's take a look at it. Pushback in Israel this morning after Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's call for a separate Palestinian state. Blinken explained this was key to ensuring regional support for Israel's security and Iran's isolation. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pretty much flat out rejected that idea. The state of Israel must control the security of all the land which is west of the Jordan River. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu forcefully rejecting the Biden administration's push for a two-state solution following the end of this war, whenever that will be. The US is saying, however, that that is not the final word citing that they've been able to change previous hardline positions. So, Netanyahu spoke just a day after US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said Israel would never have genuine security without a pathway toward Palestinian independence. It's so gonna be a real difficult day for Netanyahu when in a couple months, it's found that all of the hostages or majority of them are fucking dead directly because of the bombardment. It's gonna be a real tough time for the Israeli government and the American government, but some within the uh, it, like the Israeli uh, you know public and American public are gonna be like, no, dude, like you've had months to try and do a hostage swap. More on the story in a minute, but I'd like to check in and uh, get your initial thoughts, Jake. Yeah. So first on uh, Netanyahu, uh, I was led to believe that from the river to the sea was a genocidal uh, phrase. In fact, I've condemned that. What happened, Jank? Now, now we're back on board. Race. Uh, I condemned it when Palestinians use it. I'm now going to condemn it uh, when apparently the terrorist Netanyahu uses it, saying that he's going to do a genocide and ethnic cleansing from the river to the sea. That's my understanding of the phrase, from the river to the sea. You just heard it with your own eyes and your own ears. You heard him, okay, and you saw. Him. So uh, now it's it's not just him. Ben Gavir, the national security minister, says that they're going to drive the uh, Gazans out. Now it all makes sense, actually. Why did they start in the north? What led them to believe that there was more Hamas in the north? And, and what I said on the first day, which is why wouldn't they just go to the south? They've got tunnels. They just go. So what's the point of uh, uh, destroying the south, uh, north? You destroy the north first, you push them into the south. Now they're destroying the south. They haven't slowed down at all. Why is it that they're so um, insistent on continuing to unconditionally support this genocide, yet state they want a two-state vision? So it's sort of like I have to so question whether they want a two-state vision, and if so, what would that look like? I, I'd be happy to answer that. There's so many things I disagree with that both of you said Good. that I would love to to address all of them. First of all, Ramesh, you just said you understand in, in certain ways the illegitimacy of Hamas. They're a terrorist organization that rapes people as a as a matter of of public policy and as the way to resist and get the change they want. Rape and shoot nails into the vaginas of women and take. Oh, 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 oh my God! Did we unlock a new Islamophobia? What the fuck is this man on meth right now? women and babies and children hostages and still holds them hostage. So sure, I'll respond in, to that. Sure. So in some ways you see the illegitimacy. I would say in every damn way possible you should see the illegitimacy. You both called it a genocide. It is not a genocide. Uh, the, the international it's definitionally a genocide. Like it, it's the state of Israel is currently being taken to court for it. Biden is being sued for it. A court will decide officially whether they think it is or not. It's a sham accusation. I got back yesterday from Israel. I was there for 10 days. During the 10 days that I was there. Oh, he there just got back from Israel. Oh, no wonder he's got new propaganda. No wonder he's got new talking points. There it is, it's right there. There were nine on the ground terrorist attacks. There were Israelis murdered in the streets while I was there. There were rockets that hit Tel Aviv near where I was. I didn't have to seek shelter because it wasn't the exact part of Tel Aviv I was in, but friends- So it wasn't that big of a deal? Okay, so you weren't in any real danger? Like you didn't even have to go into shelter? Damn, 170 rockets, damn. Um, that's, that's weird because 30,000 rockets 30,000, sorry, missiles, bombs have been dropped on Gaza. So, like, I don't know what the fuck 170 is supposed to tell me. Comedian, by the way. Comedian. Comedian to political, like, uh, correspondent for TYT, by the way. Comedian. It's very easy, as I have always told you guys, to slip into anti-Semitic canards whenever you are being critical of Zionism or Zionists, especially if they are... Um, 
like American Jewish diaspora Zionists, if they are Israeli Zionists, it's very easy to get into like anti-Semitic canards, right? He doesn't even look like he's talking to like the correspondents. He doesn't look like he's talking to Jank or the other guy. He's just like staring out into a void, like a thousand mile stare of like imagining little Palestinian kids getting blown up. It's absurd. It is not ethnic cleansing because if you've ever been to Israel, have you been to Israel? I, why would I go to a barbarous uh -huh. country that right. imprisons five million Palestinians and never lets them go? Right. Face so, Jank, get his ass, get his ass, Jank. Brutalizes them, murders them at every turn. If you've been so, to why Israel, would I go to that uh, also, country? Also, I love the. Have you been to Israel? I don't need to go to a place to recognize the conditions of that place, motherfucker. Oh, you say that the conditions within, uh, you know, like uh, uh, rural Mississippi are really bad. I'm sorry. Have you ever been to Biloxi? Huh? You ever been to Bunky? Ben? Okay. Don't talk about, you know, Mississippi if you've never been there, okay? It's no one go to Israel. You should never go to Israel right. it's until they end the occupation. It's and then an we love them and nation. we go back. It's yeah, I love, dude, every time a fucking Zionist is like, oh, I went to Israel and it's just an amazing place. I feel at home. I feel like it's my true homeland. It's so nice. Yeah, because you got the VIP treatments that you would go back to America. If it was so, you know, like big dick swinging awesome, you would have stayed there. Oh my God, I love being in Israel. I love eating like foods that are from all over the MENA region, but claiming that they're actually indigenous to Israel. I love, I love, you know, utilizing Thai slave labor for all of my hotel staff needs. Nation, and it's the only democracy in the Middle East that <laughs> democracy. East. And you all the time use that as the example of why they should be held to a different standard than Hamas. You talk out of both sides of your mouth on this issue constantly. You say they're a democracy, so that's why they have to be held to a different standard than I call them a democracy. No, he's like, if I remember correctly, Ben and uh, Ben, um, Jenks said. If they imagine themselves a democracy, then they have to be held to a higher standard. Anti-Zionist Jewish American here. I've uh, been to Israel on birthright years ago. And let me tell you, Ben Glebe is one of the most horrific, delusional, and anti-Semitic people ever. Uh, he makes uh, the world more dangerous for people like me. Zionism is anti-Semitism. Jews are not a monolith. And if Ben can't see that genocide is the most anti-Semitic thing you can do, he is truly lost. Well, first of all, thank you for, you know, thank you for speaking out as a person. Uh... As a Jewish American who is anti-Zionist, thank you for speaking out. And also, yeah, he's fucking crazy, man. Look at the look in his eye as he's going on the tirade, just staring out into the void. Look how crazy he is. There have been some insane statements from some elements in the Israeli government that are not the official position of the government. That is not what the statement he of Netanyahu said. He just said from the river to the sea. He said, he said from the river to the sea they need to have control of their security. Mark, what are you talking about? That's oh, that's right. <laughs> What do you think from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free means? Oh, genocide of Jews. And Netanyahu saying it from the river to the sea, we will be in control of our own security. If you think that saying that Palestinians, when they say it, that's genocide. But when Israel, who has all the power to do that, to do the genocide, and is currently, as you just said, killing two and a half for uh, civilians for every one uh, Hamas militant. It seems like they're on their way to doing the genocide if they're not currently doing it. Oh, do it! That when is, it's Israel, when they're actually doing that the is genocide. Such an ignorant no, statement. no, no. From that, the river to the sea, as they're in the is, middle of the genocide. That is you such think, an no big deal. No big statement. deal. That is such an ignorant statement. <laughs> when when the when the, when the Palestinians say from the river to the sea, they literally are saying without Jews and Israelis living there. No, you? they aren't. No, they aren't. You're just making shit up. Butchering. So why did you condemn the statement? Because you know that's what it means. That's why you condemn then it. Why don't you condemn Netanyahu, that monster who just because said from the river to the sea? Because he's not saying that they need to oh, displace get out the of here, Ben. You're the most biased man. First of all, they are, they are saying they need to displace them. That's the whole, why don't other countries take them in? Why don't they just go into the Sinai? Why don't other countries want to take them? Because that's how bad Palestinians Every time are. Every my poll goes up, like I say, oh, this is That has been the narrative of the Israeli government the whole time. It's like, get out. This is go. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else and we'll make, we'll make you go. Literally just the other day, like, uh, Ben Gavir was talking about the, uh, there has to be, like, a forced voluntary displacement. 
forced voluntary displacement. They They're need, murdering they need Palestinians to, they need, as we speak. They need to disavow a fundamentalist belief that wants to kill all Jews as a disease and not allow them to live. That might not bother you, but it does bother me as an Israeli Jew. That's a, such a weak, weak excuse. As an Israeli Jew, dog, you're in California. You live in California. Like, you don't even have a home in Israel. You just went there for 10 days, you said, to visit on a propaganda tour to update all your agitprop.